first symptom a patient who has a local anesthetic toxic reaction may complain is, is just being disinhibited or a little obtunded. They may complain of an ominous feeling, vertigo, tinnitus, circum oral numbness, metallic taste in the mouth, restlessness or garrulousness, tremors, and then they can progress to myoclonic jerks, convulsions, coma, and cardiovascular collapse. First thing you want to do is, of course, stop the injection, call for help. Consider lipid emulsion therapy. If the patient is with you in the perioperative setting, they are probably monitored. So therefore, you, you kind of have an idea as to where you stand with the vitals. It's not like it's an office setting in a pain practice. And you, you, you definitely want to make sure you know where that lipid emulsion therapy is or the LAST, local anesthetic systemic toxicity rescue kit. Hopefully, you're close to a, 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 hot, a place with a bypass machine because you may have a prolonged resuscitation. The bupivacaine binds to the cardiac muscle, takes a while for it to, to unbind, and therefore it, you may need a substrate such as the lipid emulsion therapy for that bupivacaine to bind to. Manage the airway, ventilate with 100% oxygen, avoid hyperventilation, and you may need to intubate. Control seizures, better use a benzodiazepine than a propofol bolus because of the hemodynamic factors. You could bottom out the pressure with propofol. Treat hypotension and bradycardia. Uh, if pulseless, start CPR, ACLS. So when someone is over 70 kilos, bolus them with 100 milliliters of lipid emulsion 20%. Do this rapidly over two to three minutes. And then infuse the drug 200 to 250 milliliters over 15 to 20 minutes. If they're less than 70 kilograms, bolus 1.5 milliliters per kilogram rapidly over two to three minutes, and then you can run an infusion at 0.25 milliliters per kilogram per minute per ideal body weight. If they're unstable, rebolus once or twice at the same dose, and then double the infusion rate. Be aware of the dose limiting, the dose limits, which is about 12 milliliters per kilogram. The total volume of the lipid emulsion can approach one liter in a prolonged resuscitation, which is considered over 30 minutes. Continue monitoring at least four to six hours after a cardiovascular event, or at least two hours after a limited central nervous system event. Do not exceed 12 milliliters per kilogram of lipid emulsion, especially in small adults or children. And go to the ASRA website for updates. This may be changed in a few months or a year because it always does. Um, my information is from ASRA. A lot of the information in this presentation is from ASRA and ISORA, as well as some other uh, studies and case reports and my own personal experience.